Hello everyone, hope you are doing good and staying safe. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Google Apps Script functions. So the Google Apps Script function is quite similar to JavaScript function, but the only difference is in Google Apps Script, you cannot use the ES6 JavaScript syntax function. You have to use the conventional JavaScript function, which starts with a keyword function, followed by the function name and the parenthesis. And Google Apps Script is it to support the ES6 function. I'm not sure when they are going to support. Until then, you have to use this function. And if you're new to programming language or if you come from other programming language, then you might wonder what exactly is a function. So function is a block of code that is designed to perform a certain task. And it gets executed when you call the function. So that's what all about a function is. And if you're from Visual Basic or VB.NET or VBA, then there we call this as a subroutine. And if you're from a Python or a Ruby, then there we call that as a def or definition. And in you know, JS, JavaScript and everything, we call this as a function. That's a very brief introduction about function. So this is a function that we uh, discussed about that in the last uh, last video when we are learning the if else statement. So this is a very simple function without any arguments. So let's create a function with arguments and see how it works and how to call the function. So now we are going to create a very simple calculator. So I'm going to name this function as a calculator. And when you say a calculator, it should perform some basic arithmetic operation. One is addition, another one is a subtraction and multiplication and division. So this is what a basic calculator will do. And for each operation, I'm going to define a function. So let's create a function for addition. Let's name this as add. So when I call this function add, it should add two number and return the sum of the two number. So to add two number, I have to get the two number. So I'm using A and B as an argument. So whatever the number that get passed in the first argument will get assigned to A. And what are the number that get assigned that get passed in the second argument will get assigned to this variable b. And when this function is invoked, I'm going to return the sum of a plus b. Let's name this as addition and next we are going to do a subtraction. So again we are going to get the two numbers and we are going to return a minus b and let's do the multiplication let's name this as multiplication a and b and we are going to return the product of a and b again let's do the division get the two number name this function as a div a comma b then finally return a divides by d. So that's it, we build a function for each arithmetic operation. Now it's a time uh, to make use of the function inside the calculator function and we will also see how to call this function. So let's create a two variable. Uh, let's name this as a number one is equal to 10 and where n2 is equal to five. Let's say if we want to perform addition, I can make use of the logger.log to print the addition operation. And whenever you are calling a function, you don't need to use this uh, keyword function. You just need to put the function name, parenthesis, and the value that you're going to pass to the function. So in this function, it accept two argument. So you have to pass two argument. So I'm going to pass n1 and n2 to this add operation. Let's execute this and see. And before that, you can click on the control plus S to save. And the calculator is the function that we want to execute. Now click on the run. So it gives a sum of n1 and n2, 
which is 15. Let's do the similar thing for uh, subtraction, multiplication and division. You just need to change the function name alone, multiplication and division. Let's execute that and see how it works. So first perform the sum and next it perform the subtraction and in the third step it perform the multiplication and finally 10 get divided by 5 and it return the value 2 and this is all about a function and this return type is completely optional when you're calling the function and you are expecting something in return then you can make use of the return keyword and return the data that you want to return to the calling function but if the purpose of the function is just to execute a certain block of code then you can write the logic that need to be executed here and the return type is not needed because obviously you don't need to return something you just want to execute this certain step so this return is completely optional and the argument is also optional you can also create a function without an argument if you don't want to pass any data to the calling function so this is all about a function i hope you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye